All right, so it seems quite a few of you guys on the Discord server wanted to see me make this video, so here it is. Which, by the way, if you want to join the Discord server, I'll leave a link in the description. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about some issues with the anti-woke community and why I personally just don't like the anti-woke crowd, the anti-woke movement, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to break this video down into multiple parts and go over each specific reason that I have listed out, at least for me personally, and why I just don't like the anti-woke community. And I just want to say this for the anti-woke people that will see this video and, you know, get mad at it and scream at it and you know write a bunch of comments about it look it's not that personal it's not that deep this is just criticism you can take it or leave it if you get mad at it that's your problem that's really all i gotta say anyways my first reason for why i don't like the anti-woke community and i think a lot of people will agree with me here is the constant need to personally attack somebody. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying that you're not allowed to, you know, insult somebody, you know, throw around some trash talk, but at least have the logic to back it up. You can't just have trash talk. You can't just have insults. And a lot of the times when I've had discussions or debates with anti-woke people, uh, I'm going to put debates in quotation marks because it usually ends up the same way, and I don't really consider it a debate. It's more so just I ask them a question or ask them two questions or I like debunk one of their points. And then it's just, you know, insults. You know what I mean? Just insults. You're coping. You're gay. You're woke. You're a cuck. How's the cuck chair? Blah, 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 blah. It's like some of the most childish shit you could think of. And the crazy part is, is that these people think they're like destroying you. They think they're owning you. They think they're like, you know, absolutely just, you know, destroying you. And it's like, bro, you do realize that you kind of already just gave me the win. You kind of already just made me look a hundred times better without me even really having to try because you just had to resort to insults to try and win. Now, I look better because I didn't have to do that. Like I said, you can insult people. Just don't rely on insults. You know what I mean? Don't just be like, you know, all bark, no bite, if that makes sense. You got to have some sort of argument or some sort of logic to, you know, back yourself up. So, yeah. That's my first point. Now let's get on to my second point or my second reason. And that is the constant spamming and crying about D I D I D I E S G D I D I. I can't believe this, you know, D I. It's so evil. D I D I. It's like when I heard about DEI, I looked it up and it was diversity, equity, inclusion. And I was like, OK, I clearly have to be missing some sort of, you know, piece to the puzzle here, because why are these people so mad at diversity, equity, inclusion? It doesn't make sense. So, you know, the anti-woke community, they end up, you know, telling me about this DEI and stuff. and They tell me why it's bad. And every time they're explaining why DEI is bad, their explanation is always Oh, well, the companies pushing DEI is bad. You know, there's so many bad practices going on at these companies that push DEI. And it's like, okay, sure, the companies are bad, but that's not exactly what I'm trying to ask here. I'm asking, why is DEI bad? Why is the idea of diversity, equity, inclusion bad? And, you know, I never really get an answer to that. I never really get like an explanation as to why DEI is bad. It's always, you know, the companies, they're so evil, they're so bad. So yeah, I have yet to find out why the anti-woke community hates the idea of DEI so much. I guess it's just a mystery, so who knows? But anyways, let's move on to our next point slash reason and that is just this weird obsession with masculinity in video games like look there's nothing wrong with having like a preference with your video games you know if you know if you like those super big badass you know manly man video games like ride to retribution or what was it or, or hang on wait was it wait what was it hang on okay okay i found it yeah ride to hell retribution like it's fine to like those games but still not every game is going to be like that okay games aren't just made for you know big manly men who are just you know so obsessed with masculinity that just ev anything they interact with just has to ooze masculinity 24 7 you know it's 2024 we're almost in 2025 there are all sorts of games for all sorts of people now and look just because a game that you might deem woke or gay or whatever exists doesn't mean that you know ride to hell retribution Distribution, you know, just stops existing. Like, no, it'll still be there for you to play and you can still enjoy that game. But not every game has to be super masculine in order for it to be good. Anyways, let's move on to my next reason. And that is the anti-woke community calling literally anything woke. Now, guys, look, Andy Pants was not the first person that was anti-woke that I ever covered. I've been covering, you know, anti-woke people for a while now. I've been doing it for about a year now, I'd say. And the first ever person that was anti-woke that I covered was this guy named Switch played if i remember correctly and he made this whole cope video crying about uh, a, an actor a voice actor that i think was going to be in like a mario game or like a mario movie or something i don't exactly remember but i think it was like the mario movie and apparently the voice actor had pronouns in their bio and this guy of course being the anti-woke idiot he is 
he was like, oh, Mario's woke now. Uh, you know, the, vo the voice actor has pronouns. They have pronouns in their bio and uh, it's woke. Everything's woke. Uh, and basically, I made a video just explaining to this idiot that pronouns aren't woke. Newsflash, pronouns aren't woke. They're not some, you know, left wing ideology, woke DEI narrative being pushed. It literally is just a part of the English language. I don't know when we made pronouns woke, but we need to stop. But it's not just pronouns. I mean, I feel like really anything these guys can find, they will call woke. You know, is there a person of color in this game? Woke. Is there a woman that like, a, you know, possesses the slightest amount of power within this game? Woke. You know, is there a gay person or a trans person in this game? woke and the crazy thing is too is that most people who cry and make such a big deal out of things being in quotation marks woke can't even define wokeness themselves and if they can they can't give a reason as to why wokeness is just so bad and just so detrimental and it just destroys games and destroys movies and just destroys anything it touches i never really get an explanation as to why wokeness is just so bad i almost feel like the anti-woke community has been just gaslit into being mad at wokeness when they don't even know what it is or why why they should be mad at it and if that's the case then that's just crazy but hey it just kind of goes to show how easy the anti-woke grift really is i mean you really don't gotta try that hard when it comes to being an anti-woke youtuber like i remember seeing andy pants's channel at like 20 or 30k subs when i first found out about him and then like a few months later when i go back to cover him He's at like over 100k subs. I'm like, damn, so this grift really is working. And really all the guy had to do was just, you know, make a few videos calling something gay, saying it's woke, saying it's DEI, you know, uh, talk about why video games are just so gay now. You know, they're just so gay and bad now. And, you know, old video games were so much better. All he had to do was just spew that slop a few times, you know, make some videos. Boom, you got millions of views. You know, you got an audience of over 100k people. And now you're making that ad revenue. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to my final reason as to why I don't like the anti-woke community and that is this weird idea that you must be involved with the culture war or else you're a fence sitter you're a leftist you're a communist you're secretly pushing you know woke DEI propaganda you just can't be in your own lane you know minding your own business you just have to be a part of the culture war or else you're a part of the problem like when Andy Pants made his video you know calling act man woke his whole reasoning for calling act man woke was the fact that act man didn't participate in the culture war and that just somehow meant that act man was you know a fence sitter and he was secretly a leftist and you know he was secretly promoting uh Ubisoft DEI wokeness and whatever and you know it's not even just that people were giving me crap for playing the first descendant i'm not even joking they were like how could you be talking about andy pants and you know talking about anti-woke people when you're literally playing in uh, like a game that's like anti-woke like you're playing the first descendant it's like it's like bro i don't play games because i care about you know the politics the wokeness the anti-wokeness the culture war i don't care about all that I just want to play the game because it's good, because it's fun, because I find it entertaining, because I like the grind, I like the weapons, you know, and like I said, I just, I overall like the game. I don't care about the anti-wokeness or the wokeness or the culture war. It doesn't matter to me. So yeah, that's my final reason as to why I just don't like the anti-woke community. If you guys think I missed anything or if you guys would like to add anything onto this, then be sure to leave a comment down below. Also make sure to hit that like button for the algorithm and be sure to subscribe. We're almost at 3k subs. It would be greatly appreciated. And also be sure to check out the Discord server if you haven't already. Link in description. The Discord's been really active recently, so if you'd like to check that out, link is in the description. And yeah, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.